seven games. Liverpool were looking to stay top. West Ham looking for a change of luck. Arsene Wenger knew Arsenal's luck must turn again sometime, but after four straight defeats, they went to Fulham, hoping to rediscover their goal touch. Glenn Hoddle's Tottenham can count recent wins over Chelsea on the fingers of one hand. These London derbies are seldom dull, but would Spurs' luck change at last? And the entertainment's as good as ever throughout the Barclay Card English Premier League. In fact, some of it this week verges on the comical. Welcome to the Weekend Highlight Show with me, Paul Dempsey. It's not very often that Southampton have been in better form than Manchester United going into a meeting at Old Trafford, but after two straight Premiership draws, Ruth Van Nistelrooy returned from injury, with United looking to rediscover the cutting edge to their game. After so many injury problems thus far, a United lineup much nearer to full strength. Barthez, Blanc, Beckham and Veron all returning to the side, beaten by Maccabi Haifa in midweek. James Beattie hit a hat-trick last weekend as Southampton made it three wins in a row. The Saints starting just three points behind United. Wayne Bridge passed the fitness test. This side unchanged after the win over Fulham. Rory Dilap had recovered from illness to claim a place on the bench. Gordon Strachan once graced this stage as a player for United. But as Southampton manager, he'd seen his side concede 11 goals on their two previous visits. Rob Palmer describes the action. So it's Southampton who kick off, hoping they can postpone Sir Alex Ferguson's 250th Premiership win. He's waited two games for it. Two disappointing 1-1 draws. Saying in the build-up to this game that his team has to be deadlier in front of goal, not so kind to build on the home form. plays it back to Varane. That's better. Both of Varane yet to score in the Premiership this season. His best performances have been in the Champions League. The warning shot for Southampton. Tinemi, fine goalkeeper. He's used to the rain in his native Finland. And the national team is uh, kept out. Yuti Jaska Leinen and Enkelman of Aston Villa. Chief making in the, the Spanish press this week. Ricardo Lopez, who's the uh, Spanish international, who's number two at United, is reported to have said that uh, Fabian Barthez is no longer world class and he feels that he could take his place. But I think uh, there's some loose paraphrasing and translation that made its way into uh, the English newspapers as Scholes plays it through. Great run here from Philip Devil. Oh, deflected, but he'll take it. commiserating on his 100th consecutive appearance. Chris Carlson was caught from a, a leading knee of Gary Neville. That's the free kick. Spencer beats his touch. Well read by Omeron. Spare man on the far side is Fernandez. Prefers it on his left foot. Tries to get it there. He does. Oh, what a good goal! earning a very rich reputation does it no harm with an equaliser against Manchester United where was the Manchester United marking hadn't done the homework for the lethal left foot and he beats his fellow Frenchman Fabian Barthez to make it 1-1 here's Van Nistelrooy to Veron to Ryan Giggs Shows great balance, slides it in there, Skull drops his footing for Ron. Picks up the pieces, still three to aim for. Beckham at the far. The braver man in that particular challenge was Marsden. Seems to be Beckham and Paul, but Marsden covered a lot of ground to come back and help out Wayne Bridge. He spies it in, Beckham there, and uh, casually checked it off the line. Veron. Manchester United in need of greater punch when it comes to finishing those chances. The words of their manager. This was the uh, clearance off the 
line, casually chested by Oakley. Now Dodd. Great ball through. Anders Svensson. Blocks presence enough. Rare opportunity for Svensson. And his fellow muscle man, Klaus Lundekvam, to saunter forwards. Fernandes tees it up. Beckham with the header. Fernandes with no obstruction. Has a second attempt. Plays it in low and hard. It came up for Ron. And Bartes did very well to see that. Now Van Nistelrooy. United weathering a bit of a storm in stormy conditions. Van Nistelrooy in there. And a very nice touch indeed from Anthony Amy. Snopes being made by Gordon Strachan. Dodd. There's Omerod, who was fouled by Rio Ferdinand. Not the worst tackle you're going to see this afternoon, but it was the outlaw challenge from behind. A slight shove with the arm as well. Southampton have a great chance here to go into the break. Two up. Well, one goal up, and it just goes just wide. Another glorious opportunity. The second in the space of a couple of minutes. They should be two up. Never mind drawing. Spencer completely unmarked. Rich. Well, as to say, neither manager has made a change at half time. Strack will be very happy. So Alex has put the stars out today, but it's not been a big production so far. Chips it in, and it was Beattie making a real nuisance of himself again! Oh, Bartes to Manchester United's rescue! Inspirational stuff from James Beattie. A young centre-forward who is coming of age. Well, Fabian Bartes has oft been criticised over the last couple of years, but he is in tip-top form, and he needs to be. Look at the rest where Here's Ryan Giggs to Ruud van Nistelrooy. Will they be inspired by their goalkeeper? Plays it back to score! This week, Sven Joran Eriksson has had uh, people around him resigned from England set up. Adam Crozier, chief executive, and one of his assistants, Steve McLaren. Along will come such a South American influence, Diego Forlan, who uh, scored in the last league game here, around this stage of the game. This will be the danger as Sir Alex has uh, gambled on. defenders off and putting on two strikers here is one of those strikers Diego Forlan to Beckham the moment playing on the left you can see he wants a shot he goes for it Amy just about had it covered anyway a rare moment of influence on this miserable afternoon and David Beckham by Giggs very heavy challenge the referee did well just to uh, three before blowing the whistle. You know, they don't to three. They take it very quickly. Ball and again! Oh, fantastic goal from the end of A mighty goal for Manchester United. He's waited a long time to get a run of goals. Now two in two home matches. A one that could reignite Manchester United's title chances. He came on a man with a purpose. And he hit that with purpose. Get his shirt back on. So exciting. Well, <laughs> he's not legally allowed to play without a shirt, Diego Paul. Let's look at Uriah ready to try to tell him. Well, the ladies inside the ground will enjoy that, but he could be heading for trouble. Get off the pitch, says Uriah ready, and get properly attired. As long as it's only the shirt that he keeps off. As we say, collectively, not United's best performance of the season. They look very, very deep. They've shown resilience and spirit. Sir Alex looks at his watch. The three minutes have been uh, completely eaten up. And his team left it late again. But they've 
got the victory. Diego Forlan, today's super sub. Old Trafford, it finishes Manchester United 2, Southampton 1. Last year we drew at Highbury and Anfield as well. So if you want to perform in a premiership at a good level, then you've got to come to these places and play without any fear. Uh, we did that today, we felt comfortable, but uh, as you say, Forlan produced a great goal. I thought it was maybe could go in or maybe it was a little bit higher. So, it could go. so I was trying to watch it and when it get in, uh, being 1-1 one, uh, one, one and uh, giving, uh, you know, three points, uh, I start to run and try to, to celebrate with my brother and some friends that they were in the, in the, in the stand. It was a nice game of football. Uh, Southampton over the years have always come here and tried to play well. They've always had a go, and it's commendable that. It's great credit to them. But I felt we had, we had great opportunities in the match to maybe score a few goals. But as in the nature of our club, we'll wait to the very last. And what a strike. One fresh concern for United emerged after the game. The club say they will help David Beckham with advice about his personal security and that of his wife and children after police made a series of arrests linked to an alleged plot to kidnap the Beckham family. Newspapers claim to have helped uncover a criminal gang which had targeted the Beckhams. Police moved into thwart plans to hold the family and demand a ransom. A series of arrests has been made as the investigation continues.